are back in the kitchen joined by Alexandra and Colin Proctor from Made With Love Delectable Edibles. How are the two of you doing today? Really well. Good. Thanks. I have no idea what we're making, but I'm going to guess it involves pasta and uh, peppers. some peppers. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do rainbow peppers with a garden curry cream sauce on penne. Oh, delish. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really simple, easy way to throw together some food mm -hmm. and get it going quick. Fantastic. So what I've got here is we've cooked the penne pasta. Mm -hmm. So cook it in lots of boiling water, drain it, shake it dry, but don't rinse it. And then I've just put a little tiny bit of olive oil on it just to hold it. Because if, if you try and transport cooked pasta without a bit of olive oil, you'll just get one glom of pasta. Yes, it gets really, um, that starch kicks in and sticks together. But yeah. the reason why I suspect you're keeping that starch on it is to help thicken the sauce later on. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So really sort of traditional Italian method of cooking pasta. Fantastic. So I'm just uh, chopping up this red pepper, and this recipe, I believe, is one whole red pepper for the recipe. Is that sure? True? So we'll do one one whole red pepper chopped, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's gonna. Is it gonna go in the pan first? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're doing it right into the pan first. So what I've got is the skillet is on a medium heat, sort of medium medium high heat. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to add um, just a tablespoon of this organic extra virgin olive oil just to um, saute the pepper in. Okay. And again, you could do that without. If you're really watching your oil, it's fine to just sort of um, use a dry skillet, a little bit of water, and saute your veggies like that. The more extra virgin the oil is, is it the leaner version as you go? The extra virgin means it's only been pressed one time, and the cold pressed oil means that instead of a heat press, it's been pressed um, with cold um, technology. So what you're getting is a much healthier oil for your body. Okay. Good mm -hmm. to know. Good to know. So we're just going to add these peppers straight in and lightly saute those before we add the pasta. And Colin, are you going to do some green and yellow pepper too? I would be happy. Do we want to do lots that. of peppers in our let's pasta? Let's make it rainbow let's and happy. Do, yeah. yeah, let's make it a pepper pasta. We need a rainbow after all of this snow today. How'd you guys like the <laughs> snow? Did you have snow where you are? Because you guys are down lower, oh, right? Oh, yeah, we had a very tiny bit. Like the yeah. kids tell, told me, oh, there's snow. It snowed last night. And there was just like, I don't know, a millimeter of snow on like one roof on the property. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, it snowed last night. And then they were like, oh, look up there. But are your kids wanting more snow at this point, or are they sort of nah, done? No, nah, they're done. Right. It's that time of the year where even the kids are getting tired of it, right? So uh, we are definitely done. We like, we've already planted quite a few of our gardens. Oh, boy. Because we're in Brock, right? right? Right, So what I find is the seeds are intelligent. I, I don't know what else to say, Susan. When, when you put your seeds in really early in the year, if they're the cold weather crops, Mm -hmm. They kind of just barely start to open and then they hold sure. and they wait and they feel for the weather. And as soon as the weather is warm enough, they come up. Mm -hmm. And I start planting when I see the rest of the world sort of going into growth again. Mm -hmm. So we had some um, carrots that we held over from last year in the gardens for seed saving. And those guys just started sending up their first little green leaves. So it told me, all right, it's time to plant carrots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost brought my patio furniture up and put it on my deck. I thought, you know what, Susan, it's not quite the middle of March. And that was on the weekend. So glad I didn't, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I got some good deck time the other day. I think you did too, Alex. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I definitely had my first full-on sun bath, laid nice. out on a duck chair, just basked in the sun. Yeah, it's As nice. long as it's, it's warm enough on the pool deck and there's not a really cold wind, you get great. Great sun exposure. Awesome. We are going to take a quick break. We're just going to keep adding these peppers, sauteing them up, and then the past is going to get added. We're going to check in with Alexandra and Colin to see how this works out. This is really an especially good one with the curry spice. I love it. It's <laughs> very tasty. Welcome back, back in the kitchen with Made With Love Delectable Edibles. We're adding the cream to our, our pasta and uh, that's going to thicken up and, and get it uh, creamy and delightful, I know. Mm -hmm. Yummy. So we've got a cup of cream that Alexandra's just added mm -hmm. and now she's going to add 
about two tablespoons of the garden curry spice balls. Mm -hmm. And um, stir that I just, in. Yeah, I just eye it. I find two tablespoons, it's like two little mountains. Two little good miniature enough. mountains. Let me do some <laughs> stirring for you here. Sounds good. So then we're gonna quickly stir it in. Mm -hmm. um, basically with this sauce, um, it's the pasta which is gonna thicken the sauce. So it's always a starch from the pasta. Right. You don't drain the pasta. And, and the spices themselves actually do a really good job thickening because all of those dried veggies and herbs, they suck up all of that moisture. Mm -hmm, they do. It's just about heating it to the right temperature and uh, letting it thicken on its own. And uh, again, another fabulously simple and fast recipe. And again, for me, the curry, my favorite for pasta now. Love it. Love it. <laughs> me too. I love doing the curry. The sweet peppers is a really nice, easy, healthy way to go about it. But I love doing the curry with chicken breast and broccoli sauteed to begin with. Mm -hmm. Or you could do it with some prawns. That's beautiful. So we're adding a little bit of Parmesan just to give it a little extra zip. Exactly. Absolutely. So the recipe is right on the back of the garden curry bottle. We're using one cup of cream, two tablespoons of the garden curry spice blend, and topping it with about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, but that's just to taste. And the pasta, 250 grams, or about half a regular size package of pasta cooked. Mm -hmm. So we say this recipe will do between two to four servings. Hey, Colin, I think you need a little bit more pasta in a there. A bit more pasta in there. All right. And you know what I love about this recipe too? Great that night, great the next day for lunch when you throw it into your Tupperware and heat it up, right? It's a, it, you totally. get lots of uh, uh, meals out of it if you so choose to make a larger portion, whatever. Fantastic, we are just about out of time here, so. We will uh, put this down now. We have a minute. Is there anything else that you guys would like to add for our one minute? Um, so I've just served some up there. Mm -hmm. And as you see, like this could be two to four servings, depending on how big a pasta eater you are. Sure. I love throwing in the lots of veggies you know because what? it bulks yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end, I think a nice thing to add that you guys have done before is add some cherry tomatoes, slice them in half, and just serve them on the top. It just mm -hmm. gives it that little extra zip. Maybe some parsley or, or whatever. There exactly. You go. There's the parsley I was talking about. Fantastic. It smells so good, you guys. It's a fantastic combination, this recipe. Again, madewithlove.ca. If you're looking to check this out, a fast, easy meal. The kids will love it. We are out of time on this Tuesday afternoon. Thanks so much for being with us. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.